Hey again, everyone. So, now, I just finished class, just got back to my dorm, and actually, normally I would have intermediate microeconomics right after intermediate macroeconomics, and then I would also have an intermediate microeconomic recitation, where we essentially go over homeworks from lecture, but both of my microecon classes got canceled, so I now actually have a three-hour chunk of the day to myself. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet, but I know the first thing I'm going to do is go get some food. I haven't eaten any actual food today. I mean, I had that coffee with coconut oil. I guess you could say I'm fasting, but it's only noon. Normally when I do my fasts, I fast for the whole day or till dinner or something like that and only do that once a week. That's my personal preference for intermittent fasting. I learned that from Brad Pilon, who wrote Eat, Stop, Eat, and also a little bit from Tim Ferriss, just sporadically. Although originally I learned intermittent fasting from Gregory O. Gallagher at Kino Body. I was more, I'd say, egoically oriented with my fasts back then, and now they've become more of a spiritual practice, but still health-oriented. But anyways, I was just going to film when I, got, when I sat down at the dining hall, but I decided I would show you the protein shake that I make because it might be something worth knowing, or, or not. Either way, you're here. So, here's my, I'm going to flip this camera around. Is not letting me flip you around. Okay, well then I guess I'll just stop this video and cut it and then restart. Okay, first things first, shaker cup, desk's a little messy. Oh, there's actually the coffee from this morning. Four Sigmatic mushroom coffee mix, lion's mane and chaga. Those are the mushrooms. That's not actually lion's mane. But yeah, this stuff is awesome. They market it pretty well. The original superfood, all that good stuff. It says somewhere in here, there, vegan, paleo, I guess. Here's all this stuff if you want to look at it. Anyways, let's do this. So first thing, come over here. Chocolate, less naked pea. A lot of people complain about pea protein and say that it doesn't have a complete amino acid profile. 99% of the time that's true, but this company, Naked Nutrition, they actually do a really good job. And the way it says on the package, here I'll read it to you now. Less Naked Pea's superior amino acid profile is the result of processing via mechanical water extraction without the use of chemicals. So mechanical water extraction, I guess, gives them an amino acid profile where they have about 18 of the 20 amino acids here and all nine essential amino acids. In addition, 8 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat, 25 grams of protein, 5 grams of sugar, which is made with coconut sugar and raw cocoa. So this stuff's really good. I just realized I wasn't even showing you. Anyways, so do two scoops of this. Next, come over here. I use one of my favorite products, which is like this. Whole Foods plant-based dark chocolate nutritional shake. It's all these awesome things. And uh, you should just look this product up because I mean, they just go off with nutrient benefits. I mean, seriously, this thing is crazy. So now I can keep turning. All these vitamins, all these minerals, so healthy. I just do a little bit of that. It's actually sweetened with stevia, so it has, I mean, I don't like to use too much of that. I know that the blood glucose level effects of stevia are kind of a mixed bag. Some people respond with an increase and some with actually with a decrease. But I just like the way it makes my shake taste, and it's a little bit of added nutrition as well, so I like to use it. It's more expensive. That other one's only $55 for five pounds which is like insanely cheap. And I mix it with this to get a better nutrient profile. So just, you know, a little bit of that. Really not a lot. I mean, maybe that much. Just enough. Set that down. Got some other supplements here that, um, I'll do a supplement video another time where I'll go into a little bit more depth. 
but I like taking those generally. Tea, water filter that I spoke about earlier, coconut oil, got my protein. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna go crush the day. Hey, so one more thing I forgot to mention is that in my protein shakes, after I add all of the ingredients that I showed earlier, mainly protein powders, I also do some coconut milk. So, I mean, you can do whatever coconut milk, whatever non-dairy milk you want to do. I go with some organic, like I said, coconut milk by a company called So Delicious. Um, I get it for free at the C4C. So I just load up with it when I can, bring it back to my dorm, and then load it sporadically. Cool. Just wanted to share that. Hey guys, just sat down for lunch. I want to preface this by saying first off that I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I have here. So I'm an RA at CU, which means I actually get a free meal plan. And we have one of the best dining programs really in the nation. I mean, it's still cafeteria food, but it's like really high quality. So I'm very grateful for that. So I'm going to take you through what I'm eating and just kind of show you how I do it for lunch. I typically eat a pretty big lunch. First off is the protein shake I made earlier. One more thing is I actually added some organic coconut milk to that as well that we actually have here in a vegan fridge for people who don't like regular milk. Dairy milk, not regular milk. I want to start changing that norm. But um, <laughs> actually something funny happened. I went to go get the milk and I spilt like about... I don't know, a third of my protein shake, just like all over the ground. It was hilarious. And it reminded me to just not care and just stay positive through things like that. Just laugh it off. You can't laugh at yourself. Then life's not fun, and I enjoy a fun life. But so anyways, then I just cleaned that up, got my coconut milk, got my food, now I'm here. So I have bell peppers for potassium. I have mixed greens and mixed greens mainly for vitamin K. I have mushrooms for selenium, carrots for beta carotene, which can convert to vitamin A when needed and has other immune system benefits when not. I have broccoli, really for a myriad of benefits. One includes calcium. Also, all of this is for fiber because fiber is really important for your gut health. And also, broccoli is just plain magic. I mean, it's, it's voodoo magic for your health and it works, so I eat a lot of it. Also quinoa for complete proteins and slow carbs. More quinoa that I threw on top of this split pea stew that the dining hall makes. Split peas, again, protein, peas, peas, split peas. Um, avocado rolls, again, I'm very grateful for this whole thing because like, I don't know who else gets avocado rolls and all this salad at their dining hall. And yeah, that's the whole thing. I'll be eating with chopsticks. I'll be eating with my left hand. I like to eat with my left hand because it trains my brain a little bit differently. It's just a little bit more stimulation. And if nothing else, I enjoy it and it gives me a placebo benefit. So I might as well use that. So here's my lunch. I'm gonna eat this now. Thanks. A couple more benefits of my salad, like plants came to mind while I was eating that I figured I would mention real quick, but really just one main one and someone you should look into. Her name's Dr. Rhonda Patrick, R-H-O-N-D-A. Also, hello plants. She's a genius. She knows so much about nutrition, more than I could ever explain, and you should really look into her channel if you wanna learn more about it. One thing that she talks about on the Joe Rogan podcast, Joe Rogan Experience, another thing you should check out is, um plants when you eat them apparently they emit this like neurotoxin something they've evolved to have to keep bugs from eating them and we are affected by that slightly but you get this effect that's the same as working out where your body actually overcompensates and so you get neurological benefits as a result so it's like kind of like how you get micro tears in your muscle from lifting weights and then you overcompensate and build stronger so you can handle more your brain does the same thing with the neurotoxins within the plants. I don't know if that means there's a like a threshold for what's healthy and what's actually unhealthy in terms of plants, but as a general rule of thumb, I would just say eat more. And I thought that was really cool to learn. Figured I'd share with it. Figured I'd share it with you. I love English. <laughs> Anyways, have a nice day. So I finished work, 
two hours, went well. Just biked here, I'm at the yoga pod. I'm about to hit a yoga session, forest yoga with Kate Mulherin, one of my favorite teachers. Probably my favorite teacher actually. It's gonna be great, I'll let you know how it goes. So I just finished my yoga class. I always forget how valuable those classes are. I mean, I, I've i practiced a lot over the last, I'd say, two and a half years, but it's more like sporadically with up and downs and the frequency really just adds value. This summer I'll be getting back into it more. I look forward to getting into more detail in my practice, but for now I just wanted to catch you up, show you the beautiful view of Boulder, Colorado here on 29th Street. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I just enjoyed that class and as much as I am enjoying life. <sighs> so I just finished a late night study session for a quiz in my derivative securities class that I have tomorrow morning after my tax class. It's currently almost 10 o'clock right now. I got up at 5 a.m. this morning. It's been a long day. I'll be getting up at 5 tomorrow to go and crush the day again, study a little bit more, and then dominate. It's been a great day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for really everything. <sighs> I feel fulfilled. I feel like I kind of went in today. All right. Have a good night. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. If you didn't like the video, please comment below so I can find out why and make them better. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.